welcome back. So for the first video back on my channel, I thought we could talk about the sewing that I've done recently. Maybe three months ago, I decided that I needed to sew. And the reason was that I was running out of clothes and I had no money to buy any. But I had lots of fabric sitting there and I thought, I'm going to do it. I was really reluctant at the time, um, but I was taking my time doing my research. I had this fabric, you've seen it before, I've shown it loads of times. I had this fabric and I wanted to make the right thing for it, so I did lots and lots of research. And I come across a NYX pattern by Closet Core. This pattern spoke to me because it's boho, it's relaxed, and it looked quite, not necessarily easy, but not difficult, and it was something I could make with two meters of fabric because I first wanted to make it with a different fabric. And that was this, which I showed in my video the other day. I haven't put the buttons on yet, so I thought we could put the buttons on together today while I talk about it. But this is the fabric that I had and stay to the end because I will model it for you and you see what it looks like on, but we do have to put those buttons on first. Otherwise the ladies will be popping out, won't they? Every day. I've just got to clear the table off and then we'll get to work. In case you haven't noticed, I've tidied up my clutter corner over there. There will be a video coming on Sunday on Bella Clementine about that. I come across an old monitor. Now I wiped the hard drive drive by accident. There's nothing on there. So you get a uh, little holder come up. It flashes. If anyone knows, is it easy to put a new hard drive in will do, I need to just get rid of it. Let's talk buttons, shall we? I'm trying not to buy anything that I don't need to buy. And I've got a whole tub of buttons here. So let's have a look. Let's get the top up. So this is the colour. Very bright. Probably coming up a bit brighter than it actually is. I've got these from the charity shop a while ago. I've got some little coconut buttons. I've got some pink ones. Not pink, purple, sorry. So I think we'll go with that. It stands out. I am absolutely sweltering. I feel like I'm praying you're so high up. Let me bring you down, I can't talk to you like this. I think you may have noticed I've got one or two comments about it, but since I've been sewing, or since I stopped sewing, I have lost a bit of weight. I've lost about two stone, I think, total. I did get lots of compliments, so thank you for that. I kind of forgotten I had, and I was like, why is everyone complimenting me? Forgetting that people, some people hadn't seen me for the last year or six months, however long it is since I stopped. I had a sizing issue, that meant I had to measure myself and I was in a quandary as to what size, thinking I hadn't really changed size. I decided to go with the same size that I actually was before I stopped sewing. So that was a 22 top or around the bust and then a 26 around the waist and hip, or well, the hips more than the waist. So I graded between sizes on the pattern and I decided I'd better do a 12 just to make sure. So this is the first twirl I did. I have split the yoke, so we have to work with that. I sewed one arm, because actually when you do a twirl, you don't need to sew both arms. You want to do the minimum amount of sewing. <laughs> Bear in mind, I've got a dress on underneath and the skirt would be added as well. So I put this on and I just felt it was way too big. It crosses over so far. My sleeve was all the way down there. It should be over here. It was dropped. It should have been up here. So they were the main issues. I was um in an R in. Do I go down a size? I was like, no, I can't possibly need to go down a size. That would make me a size 20. In clo in garments so in 20. Nah, that can't be right. That can't be right. And I was arm in an arm in for a few days. And in the end, I thought, I'm just going to sew up a second 12 just to see. It probably won't fit me, but we can give it a go. I mean, apart from anything, it was a good use of this fabric that I needed to get rid of. So here we are. 
this is a second toile. It does, you can see it does cross over, but nowhere near as much. And you do have to account for seam allowance. So I was quite comfortable with that. I believe it is looking better. Yeah, I think I took in an inch. No, three quarters of an inch, I think I took in there. And it was a lot better, but I still was not happy because the seam line's here and my arm join is over here. I felt I had to do some more um, alterations. But I was a lot happier with this one. And I felt if I altered this bit here, then we'd be good to sew. Enter the third twirl. Yes, twirls are hard work but you'll see by the end of this video, it was really worthwhile. Imagine going out in this fabric, it'd be kind of funky. So this is the third 12. We're still a size 20, so I haven't gone down any further. I took it in a bit, the lines there, so it still needed to come in a little bit further. Got a mark there. So I literally just took a pen and drew where I wanted the line to be then went back to the pattern and drew that in. And I felt, I don't need to make a fourth one. We're just gonna dive in with the actual garment. Right, let's find a needle and thread for this, these buttons we've got put on. Of course, they're never getting done. The thread I need is actually in my machine. Lazy girl method. Let's do this. Let me just take a moment to say how close. That don't look close at all, does it, on camera. It looks so much brighter. It's a lot closer in colour in real life. You can see here, this is where the um, centre front joins the skirt. And I didn't actually read the instructions, but I saw on someone's sew along that they said... Well, the sew along didn't say it. There was a comment that said I had to put them together but not cross over. In actual fact, I wish I had crossed them over. And there's a little bit of warping on this fabric here. But we're going to do the best we can. Don't come for me if I've put these on the wrong side. I'm always doing that. It don't matter to me. It just doesn't matter. Bigger fish to fry. Right, I just went for a rest. Look. Every time I move, he jumps in me seat. Frederick! What are you doing? You beautiful boy. Little hack here. Get a packet of 10 or however many they sell them in. I've had these for ages. They're washable. Make sure you get the washable ones. And then they're cheaper than the air erasable ones. So let's get to sewing and we'll have a chat. You have to excuse me arms on show. I really don't like my arms on show. But it's too hot. I'm sweating. Buckets. When you cut a pattern now with your fabric. Do you cut it with the instructions? Like do what the instructions says, the layout? Because I never do. I think it's partly because my table's quite small and I can't just lay it all out and I'm not getting on the floor for love nor money. I just do my own thing. Well, I did that with this and I had absolute scraps left scraps i'm telling you in fact i did a bit of bias binding and i couldn't even like cut the it on the bias i should learn shouldn't i but i never do by the way if you're new here and you see my hands shaking that's because i've got essential tremor so it's just something i've always had it's nothing to worry about I have to say it was really weird getting back on, on the sewing machine again. I actually was wanting to use the serger because if you remember, I got my new serger just before I stopped sewing. I think at the time I was hoping that it would just fix the problem that was going on of me losing my serger and it didn't work. It, I was excited for a day or two and I was excited to do that video with you, but then I didn't really use it. I think I maybe used it once or twice. So when I had to sew again, I really wanted to use my serger again. But it didn't really call for it, certainly not in the early stages. I did use it, finished seams later on, and it was great getting that out. But actually, it was really um, interesting using my sewing machine. So I was scared that I was going to forget everything, and I didn't. You never do, do you? You never get the knot in the same place twice. And this is a loose weave fabric, so... It's got to have a good knot in it. So, yeah, it was a really interesting um, experience getting back on it. You know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it 
it's going to be because when I started sewing, I really wasn't ready to come back. This is what it's looking like. Is the center front at the bottom? I think I'm going to have to put some kind of clip in there. Right, I need a bum break. I've got damaged coccyx and it's starting to hurt now. So let's get up. Oh! Hi, I'm back. It is another day. So I was editing the video and I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. Um, so looking back through the reveal, I can see a big gap down the centre front. And when I was wearing it, I could see it, but it didn't look too bad. But looking back at the camera, it looked really, really bad. So this morning I did go ahead and hand stitch that centre front up. And it doesn't matter a great deal because it's such a wide neck, I can get it on and off. But if it's a tighter neck, then you wouldn't want to do that. But it's looking so much better, I'll show you in a minute. Also, the other thing was that for the last bit of my video, the audio corrupted, so I had to come and say it all again. I'm wearing the top today. I think it looks really good. Let's take a look at it. Wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake How good does it look? Actually, before I stitched the centre front up, it was hanging a bit further. So that stitching the centre front up has actually helped it to stay on my shoulders a bit more. Now, I've got a question for you guys. Apart from, can you make it so not be so hot. If you made this again, would you size down? It's very, very roomy. That's if I size down. I like it. I like that it's really roomy, especially in this weather. And I did significantly take the shoulders in. They could do with coming in a little bit further. And I've got loads of room around the bus, even though I do think it fits quite well. I'm gonna make it in this. And I really need to know whether I should size down or not. I think it's really down to style, whether you want it really loose and boho, you want it tight, what's your preference? So you may have noticed that this isn't a pattern review and I don't intend it to be a pattern review. I know I did quite a lot of them in the past, but I won't be doing them moving forward. My values and what I stand for has changed in the last year. I'm very much into owning less and not buying excess. And I do think there is a bit of a, well, I say a problem, but it's not really a problem if you enjoy it, of people buying patterns that they then don't use and it's a big waste of money and resources if you ask me so I really don't want to be encouraging that and that is not saying anything against anyone else who does do pattern reviews I did them for a long long time I certainly don't judge people for doing that but it's just my own personal thing that I really don't want to go down that road. I feel like there's enough creators out there that are doing the pattern reviews and are showing you the patterns that are out there that you don't need another creator who's doing that. I want to do something a little bit different down my own road. I really wanted to focus today on talking about my process, the way I found it, especially coming back to sewing. I took making this pattern really, really slowly. It took me from conception to wearing it today. It's taken me a couple of months. One of the reasons I got really blown out in the past, blown out, burnt out in the past was because I was on a conveyor belt of creating garments and I really want to get away from that. But stay tuned to see how it all comes together. So back to this, I really enjoyed it. The actual hardest part of this was doing the rouleau loops for the buttons. I got so frustrated with the thingy, you know. Once I got past attaching the front to the yoke, I didn't even look at the instructions, which is perhaps where I went wrong with this. I still have no idea what they say about how to put the front together. I just winged it and that's what happened. I had a mistake, but I've managed to rectify it by hand sewing it. I think it looks really good, much better hand sewn. 
if I was making this again, and I am going to make it again, I would either just have one front on the fold rather than all this doodah, which is an option, or I would do a facing. This whole top was made basically for the cost of the pattern and that was it because the fabric I had in my stash and the buttons I had in my stash and the thread I had in my stash. So if there's anything about this top that you've got questions for that you want me to go into a little bit further when I make it again, let me know. My message for you today, if there is a message, is to look in your stash. What patterns have you got that you could make? What fabric have you already got? What buttons? What zips? What notions? What thread have you got that you can use? I challenge you to make a garment that doesn't cost you anything to make because you already own everything. Maybe that could be a video that I will do in the future. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I've set up a new account because my old account accidentally got deleted. So I will leave the link to that down below. Do come and join me because I'm starting from scratch over there again. If you like this video and you're glad I'm back, consider purchasing a coffee for me because that's really going to help. While you're waiting for my next video, I would love it if you would go and watch this video that you can see here because if you watch more than one video at a time in one session, then YouTube will start sharing my stuff more to you. Until next time, bye!